We will take a different path. Ukrainian general named the prerequisites for liberation of Crimea. The former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine, General Nikolai Malomuz, said that only a comprehensive and simultaneous attack on the enemy in the direction of Crimea will make it possible to liberate the occupied peninsula. First of all, in order to start a new strategy for waging war, which the enemy does not expect, and this is a new art, the command must set tasks in this way, not only traditionally protecting borders, individual directions and destroying reserves, this is a very important task today. But the most important thing is a change in the strategy, not a storm, the teeth of a dragon, as we had in 2023 but quickly when the enemy is not expecting it. And one scenario, without deciphering it in general, is breaking through the southern corridor, he said, on the Espresso TV channel. The general noted that Ukrainian defenders already hold a bridgehead on the left bank of the Dnieper River in the Kherson region. In his opinion, at the same time, it is necessary to deploy powerful groups to dislodge the enemy. Complex strikes, but only complex ones, these are F-16s with strikes on all objects on the territory of Crimea and on the Isthmus. These are strikes by missile systems of both foreign and our production, our aviation in combination with the F-16, long-range artillery systems and actions on the territory of Crimea. Malomuz said he believes that these should be landings of special operations forces, airborne troops, special forces of the main intelligence directorate, SBU and sabotage at night. This will happen instantly within a few hours which will create, I will say, Armageddon for the enemy throughout the entire territory of Crimea on all logistics routes and on all bridges. This is a prerequisite for real liberation and not to partially bite into the defense, this is futile. Such tactics are for us, Russia is imposing and we will go the other way. Summed up Nikolai Malamuz. One person has died, another is missing and seven others were injured after an explosion rocked downtown Youngstown in Ohio on Tuesday afternoon, officials said. The explosion occurred near the Central Square at the Realty Building on East Federal Street. The building houses a Chase Bank at the bottom and apartments up top. The area was evacuated after the explosion. The cause of fire is unknown and police are urging residents to avoid the area. Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley had initially characterized the incident as a natural gas explosion, but later said crews were working to determine if there was a gas leak. Seven people were hospitalized after the fire, one of them in a critical condition. The body of the 27-year-old man who was an employee of the bank was pulled from the site early Wednesday morning, the fire chief said. One woman is still missing after the incident. However, her car isn't at the scene and she hasn't been identified at any hospitals in the area, so crews no longer believe she was at the building when the explosion happened, Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley said. Youngstown Police said, the situation is being actively managed. Structural engineers and Enbridge gas workers were called to the scene on Tuesday. The Ohio State Fire Marshal is leading the investigation.